two. This is five-time world champion Ron Braxma on the line. He's going to have what they call a buy run. He'll run by himself. But I want to take you back to yesterday, Greg. This had a very serious ending to this run. Well, Ron is making some real serious power right now. Dick Beanster got in here and changed the fuel system around. And as you can see, they ran into a few problems on the top end of the course. The motor went lean, had a fire on board, and Ron's in trouble right now. Well, you see get the capsule up. And to tell you the truth, folks, we know now that he actually had fire in the cockpit. He got burned in this little mishap yesterday. But the emergency crews are on the way. You see the boat coming from behind. They will try and control the situation. Brax was out of the, uh, the cockpit. I think the heat's getting pretty intense at this point in time. Ron's trying to get out of the way of the accident, and boy, he falls right into the water. Well, I'll tell you, it, may not, it might be the right place to be in a situation like this, but nonetheless, the crew's there. They're putting the fire out. Ron's in the water. Everybody okay. No harm, no foul. We can thankfully say now the day afterwards, but it was a, a tenuous moment yesterday in a qualifying run for Ron Braxma, and the boat is called Madness. Talk about putting the heat on. It was on him yesterday. All right, we're back to action today. Again, it's Ron Braxma. He is a 34-year-old out of San Bernardino, California. Fired up? Yeah, I suppose so after yesterday. We'll see what happens. It's going to be a buy run. Talk about the buy run. Well, the buy run is, is that because of the numbers that he ran yesterday, he put a leg on the mile per hour and ET record. So there's an odd number of votes, so he gets a legal single. So he's going to go out and experiment again right now. As you can see, he's making a ton of power again. And it looks like he's going to develop the same kind of problem he had there on the other end of the course. The motor goes a little bit lean. You see those flames come out. He's got a little bit of a problem. Going. He's got a big problem going right now. Again, we have flames in the back of this boat. Twice now, we've had it back to back days. What's the problem here, Greg? How can they correct it? I mean, this is obviously a problem. Well, they're experimenting right now, and to be honest with you, it's a very costly experiment. They're, they're out there doing fuel system changes, and when they do that, they put a different load on the motor, and thus they have a fire. We'll be back after this.